Hey, good morning. I just did an Instagram live on my story and it turns out you can't download those uh, to post on Facebook or YouTube so I thought I'd pop on Facebook and talk about the same thing that I just did. I just finished pin code hunting and uh, something happened yesterday that I have to talk about that's just so funny. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is do uh, people, you know, scream at you when you're coat hunting? And I get, no. I get people ask me what I'm doing and I tell them and they're fascinated. I get um, other people saying that, oh, they'll save codes for me. I'm like, really? Wow. Never have seen them. I've got other people saying, well, we don't have any bottles or cans or somebody's already been down the street. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. I'm not looking for bottles and cans, which totally confuses them because they're like, why would you be looking in the bin if, um, you know, if you're not looking for bottles and cans, they don't understand I'm looking for codes. But here's what happened. So a few weeks ago, um, I was doing my rounds and, and somebody had put out a really nice, uh, glider rocker and we've just built this workshop out back. And I thought, well, that would be handy to have out there, sit in it. And if we don't like it, I'll just sell it right online. I'll just put it in marketplace or Craigslist or something. So I thought someone will pick it up for 10 bucks. So I'm, I finish my code hunting and I come around, I get my car, I bring it around, I park it. And while I'm putting it in my car, some woman just comes up to me and she starts yelling at me. Why are you picking the garbage? You drive a nice car. This car is like way over 10 years old and there's dings all over it. So um, you drive a nice car, you need to get a job. I'm, I'm like, um, I have a job, I run my own company. You need a job, you drive a nice car, why are you picking the garbage? I'm like, oh, it, I don't pick the garbage, it, it finds me. This upset her, meanwhile I'm just trying to shovel it in. As soon as I finish, I close the back, I get in, I drive off, I'm laughing. I'm like, whatever. So, yesterday, I'm walking around and this woman spots me, now her house faces a court so she sees me coming up the street going around the court and I spot her she's just itching to do something <laughs> like oh this is gonna be good so I pull out my phone and I hold it up and I thought I'm gonna record this lady so I'm holding my phone and she comes up to me and I start recording and she starts yelling at me it's so funny she's like you know what you're doing is illegal right I'm like not really nobody cares um I'm She's like, it's illegal and you shouldn't be doing it. And I know who you are and you drive a nice car and you should have a job. And she's going on again like this. And I'm like, okay. I said, I'm not taking cans. You should, blah, blah, blah. She's going on. I start, I'm, you know, the thing I thought of after, and this probably happens to people too. You think of the best thing to say afterwards. What I should have asked her was, why is my going through the garbage bothering you so much? Like, what has this got to do with you? But she's going on, it's illegal. I'm like, so call the city. Well, she's going on. I'm like, well, if it really bothers you that much, call the police. Well, da -da, she's going on, it's illegal and you shouldn't be doing it and it's terrible. She goes, I better not catch you picking in my garbage. I go, I'm pretty sure you have nothing I want. And that threw her off. Like, I don't want to pick your garbage. I'll pick other people's garbage. And she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. She was full on. I kept telling her, well, if you really don't like it, just call the city. If you really don't like it, just call the police. She didn't know what to do. I'm like, well. And then she realized I was recording her. And she's like, shut that thing off. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to post it anywhere. I didn't know what she was going to do. I thought I should have it filming just in case. So, anyway. That's what I did uh, that I just thought was absolutely hilarious. So I had to post it and talk about this crazy woman. So I decided I really just don't want to deal with her for the next, because pin code hunting season's only like three more weeks. And then all the contests, pretty much most of them, I think all but two are over. So I probably won't go out in September. And it's already so dark in the morning that I have to use my flashlight for the first 45 minutes. So it'll only get worse. So I'm going to just pass on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my route up. So I'll pass her house at 530 in the morning. Pretty sure she won't be awake. Anyway, leave your comments below and tell me what you think. And if you've ever had anybody yell at you about, oops, anybody yell at you about your hobby. <laughs>
Anyway, bye.